Counting votes is not finding votes. They're not scanning the beach with a metal detector. This isn't a scavenger hunt. Seth Meyers was among the late night hosts to comment on the election thus far on their Wednesday night shows. On NBC's Late Night, Meyers took Fox News to task for running with President Donald Trump's lies concerning the incoming 2020 election results. Meyers said he was disgusted with everything kicking off when Trump attempted to declare an early victory late Tuesday night. And sure enough, Fox News picked up on Trump's line of bull****. Myers went on to highlight what Dana Perino, former press secretary under President George W. Bush, said on Fox News. All of a sudden, you're going to find 100,000 votes that just happen to be in some trash can behind. I think, I think that's what he was talking about. You ghouls love your evidence-free musings, don't you? He went on to say this. There's literally no proof for what you're saying. These people are so insane, they think election officials are finding ballots the way George Costanza found that eclair. On ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live, the host had this to say about the past 24 hours. For me, and I'm sure for many of you, the past 24 hours have been a, a polar coaster of emotions and nausea. <laughs> Clarifying that nothing was official yet, as of Wednesday night, Kimmel pointed to Biden leaning toward a victory with the Electoral College. Everyone seems to know it, everyone except for Donald Trump. This is a fraud on the American public. Kimmel went on to call Trump initiating lawsuits in multiple states where he is behind in the polls or even ahead, quote, unbelievable. The host later said this. I have to say, I'm very happy and relieved that we, it looks like we're finally sending this monster back to Mar-a-Lago, but I'm also, I, uh, yes, go ahead. And over on TBS, Samantha Bee gave her take on Full Frontal. She kicked off her show like this. Hi, welcome to Who the Hell Knows What's Going On? I'm. I don't even know anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, our long national nightmare is still going or maybe not. I don't know. And B opened up about her expectations of the night's show and where we are now. Like many of you, we were hoping that tonight's show would be a celebration of a huge victory, but we also feared that it would be a funeral for democracy. Instead, we're kind of in a horrifying middle, which sucks. I know. For much more of what the late night hosts had to say, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.